If you're looking, if you're a real estate professional and you're looking to provide extra value to your clients and also be able to serve them in the moment, because when do they want information? They want information right now because chances are they're searching for homes while they're driving in their car. Uh, I'm going to show you the Realtor.com iPhone or uh, iPad app, and then also show you how some of these others can be integrated in together to provide that exceptional client experience. So I'm going to choose Realtor.com. And I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to choose area in Columbus, Ohio. So it just pulled up this neighborhood right here. And I know that my client, zoom out here for a bit, wants to live in this little area right in here. So I'm going to click draw, and then draw my finger just right around the area that, that they're looking for. And you can see a variety of houses that popped up. I'm actually going to zoom in to see it a little bit better. And then on the right, hand, on the left hand side, you obviously see the homes listed for sale. Well, instead of printing out a listing report uh, and mailing it to them or faxing it to them, you can actually on the iPad press the button on the far right and then the one at the very top and it takes a picture of whatever's on the screen. Uh, next, we can kind of go into also, let's say these are the homes that we want to look at. Uh, Woodmark Run, let's give them some, some, some brief details. And then also take a picture of this using the, the bottom button and then also the top button at the same time. So anytime you take a screen, you saw the screen flash, it's like it's taking a photo or whatever is on it. We're gonna use those photos to send to them in a, in a, a nice little report. Well, we can go through and add some more, but we're not going to take the time to do that. Um, next, we're going to go in to actually show a client how much they can afford on buying a house and then also their uh, potential mortgage payment. Well, we're going to click and use the Zillow Mortgages uh, calculators, and they have a variety of ones that you can choose from. I have the payment calculator, affordability calculator, refinance calculator, which is great with working um, with sellers. Uh, so we're going to click payment calculator first. So right here, it actually, if, if, if they come to you, if the buyer comes to you and says we can only afford, let's say, less than 170000 you would choose this. And when we see in the affordability calculator, that will also help us get to that, um, to see what that exact amount will be. We'll just settle on 165. We'll say that we'll choose 10% uh, down. We'll raise the um, raise interest rate just a little bit because it's, perhaps it's going to go non-conventional. And then if we click the advanced tab, you can add in things such as property taxes, homeowners insurance, HOA fees. And then at the very top, it, this it would be you know the payment breakdown at $1,066 per month. So what we're going to do is we're going to and I've moved this back up and we're going to take a picture of whatever's on the screen by pressing the, 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 the two buttons. Next, we're going to exit this and we're going to send this individual a little note about the information that we, they've requested and that we found. So we're going to choose the app Evernote. And so you'll have to do download the, the, uh, the iPad app Evernote. Click on the very bottom le left new note. And then you can type in right here, title, the, the person's name. Let's call it, say Sam S Smith. We're going to tag Sam in the buyer's category, which is just kind of a way of organizing it. So let's say if you stored 20 of them um, within the next couple of weeks, you can go back and find just the buyers instead of perhaps the sellers or investors. And then right here, you can start to type a little note, but first we want to send them a few pictures of what we've already found. Now if you choose this button in the middle, this is where the photos are, and then you choose your camera roll. Come here to the bottom right, you'll see the ones that we had sent them. Well, let's choose the map one to send them first. So this is going to almost like adding a, a picture to an email. Next we're going to click it again and we're going to add in the specific listing detail or any other houses that we want. Next we're going to go ahead and add in the payment, how much that they can potentially afford and this is why we've chose the houses in this area. 
And again, the numbers are going to be different on your specific example. So this is almost like sending them an email. We're going to take it one more step. We're going to add in the little audio piece. If you click the little microphone button, it'll start to record. And you can see that the levels, uh, it's picking up my sound as I'm starting to talk. And then here on the, on the, on the right is kind of a counter with the time. So you would say, hello, Mr. Buyer, we've, we've, we've located these homes in, in the specific area that you've looked for. I've sent you a couple, a couple of listings in it. And then the, the information you asked about how much of, of a house you can afford, I've went ahead and sent that as well. I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, on our next appointment and have a great day. So then you would click stop, and this now becomes your note that you're going to send to someone in Evernote. Now you will save it, save the note, come back to it again, and then at the very bottom, you'll click this button. It kind of has the arrow pointing to the right on the iPhone, iPad. That's the, that's the, almost the, you call that the send icon. Well, then we'll choose email. We'll type in someone's email address and then hit send along with maybe you type in a personal message and then within minutes you've just sent them a detailed information that if you went back, I'm just going to cancel the send, if you look back to what you're sending them, you're sending them uh, the this, the listing information search so they can visually see it. You can also send the individual properties that you're going to look for. In addition to that, you can send the payment information. If you were to tally up how much time it would take to, to serve a client, um, and let's say 10 years ago, it probably would take a full day in order to get this information. Now you can do it literally within minutes, and hopefully this video was able to help you do that.